Aye, aye. Welcome back to Behind the Dream Podcast. Oh, that definitely just maxed out. <laughs> Today we have a special guest. This is actually a homie of mine, Raph. We both kind of like grew on social media together and he was out doing summer sales. Oh, and man. I said, hey, when you get back, I was like, I got to get you on the podcast. So tell us a little bit. Tell us a little bit about yourself. For people that don't know you, this is Raffy so, Taffy. Yeah, my name is Raphael. I make TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is, is actually like my an anime fir- girl <laughs> i make tiktok mm, yeah oh this is actually my first podcast so i'm a little I'm a little nervous oh, i love that <laughs> a lot of podcast virginities i've taken <laughs> no actually but so what what how do you blow up on social media oh man how do i and how many followers do you have right now on tiktok right now i have 2.2 million nice 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 it's crazy uh my very first video that got over a million views was my kylie jenner lip one that was like years ago i oh i just grabbed like a little thing yeah and then i did a kylie jenner lip and that one did really good everyone thought was so funny and then the one that really blew up was when you fell off the the shelf richie (laughs) and put the and put the video of raf falling off of a shelf that how much views did that do 22 mil no, dude. I think it has like 40? 90 million views or something. 90 mil? That one is insane, yeah. What? My Spider-Man one. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So funny thing about that video, that I had a t- that was like a retake. Because the first one didn't look real. Oh. It looked like kind of staged. Oh. And I watched it and I was like, okay, this looks really bad. So I had to put everything back on the shelf. And, I, and then I had to, you know, climb back up. And and I ended up breaking like a cologne, a candle. Dude, yeah, everything was everywhere. Everything, everywhere. That was awesome. I remember because it, <laughs> it blew up right before we did it like two years ago and we did a New Year's party. Yes. And, and that was such an interesting time. Oh, my and God. And then like all the, there was like a bunch of TikTokers yes. at this New Year's party. And um, I remember, I, I remember Maddie, yeah, Maddie and like there. Ty bought and they were like, they were like, what? Um, I was like, oh, how would I know you? Like. Oh, I fell off of a I fell off my <laughs> bookshelf. Oh, I know yeah. you. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, that was so funny. I don't know if you know um that there's a TV show. It's called I forgot what's it called. Ridiculous or something like that. Uh, like the comedy show. Yeah, they so put your clip in. They actually put my clip. No in there. way. Yeah. Did they get your permission? Yeah. So they emailed me. Oh, sick. And they like offered me. And I'm like, can we buy this clip from you? And then yeah. Buy it. They, yeah. How much do they pay? It was only. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I feel like you could have got more. I know. But 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 the other thing, the other aspect of it is like it's publicity. It's true. Like you being on ridiculous looks good on right. your name, so it's like like why not? Oh, I know. I was like, I don't really care about the money. Like, I'm surprised they didn't just hit you up and say, "Hey, can we use it in the show?" That's what I would have done. No, it was insane. When they first hit me, I was like, "You're like what?" <laughs> That's fire. Yeah, because I used to watch that anytime I'd go to a hotel. I'd always watch that. That and um. <laughs> Uh, family home, uh, home videos, the funniest yes. home videos. That was the goat. I love that stuff. No, after that, like, and the crazy thing about that video, um, the first hour of posting that, it got 200k likes on the first hour. Hour, whoa! And it just kept blowing. How many up. followers were you at at that video? Oh, that so before that video, I was at 200k followers. And how many? View, how many followers did that get, give you? That literally bumped me up crazy. I gained like 500k followers from that. No video. way. Y- yeah, like in in a week. A week or a week and a half. Holy. It, like I, I I like I don't understand how that happened, because I wasn't expecting it. I just I was, I was like posting it for fun, and then it just blew up out of nowhere. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, okay. <laughs> what what do you, uh wow? What type of content do you post now then? Oh my gosh. <laughs> from, from falling off of bookshelves to what? So now I just kind of, you know. Still comedy? Yeah. I try to, you know, do comedy. You know, sometimes yeah. I post my, me twerking or something like oh, that. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. This dude, this dude's ass is fat. He blow, his, Every time you show your ass or like do anything oh with your God. ass, those videos always do yeah, like a it's, mill or more. It's because people are like, oh, he's, they think I'm a white boy. They yeah. don't know I'm Brazilian. Yeah. And they're like, oh, like as soon as I show my brother, like, what the? Yeah, bro. I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your caked up videos always pop oh off. Oh, my God. <laughs> always pop off. And the funny thing is when I don't post, people get mad. 
they're like they don't show your ass yeah they're like, oh, like if you post a normal video they're like show your if ass. i don't if i post like a normal video or like something else they're like they get mad i'm like oh, what that's so funny <laughs> damn well uh, we like to start every episode i guess we're, we're way past the start but we i like to open up with um what is your what is your biggest dream right now biggest dream yeah i don't I, I actually don't know if i did i send you a voice memo of about the podcast Oh, no, but no? I, I, I've been watching it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you know what the topic is? Like, yeah. behind the dream? And, like, just... Okay. Wait, kind of. Wait, okay, so kind the, the, the the idea behind the podcast is, is called Behind the Dream mm-hmm. with Pierce Woodward. I'm Pierce Woodward, just so you oh, know. Nice Anywho. Um, and uh, we... I basically... I, my intention with it is to interview people that have strong dreams or, like, have accomplished a dream or are working on their dream to then inspire other people to go after the dream, not go... Uh, you know, follow their path that their parents told them to go on or their school told them to go on or whatever and just kind of like inspiring or whatnot. So, gotcha. yeah, that's kind of the idea. So right now, what is your biggest dream? Uh, well, my dream is to be rich. <laughs> Big success. <laughs> like the honesty. Yeah. You know, that's like my dream, you know. <laughs> hey, that's facts. But no, for real though, my dream, I think I would love to travel around the whole world. Dude, wow. Traveling Same. is like my favorite thing. I love, you know, experiencing new culture, like meeting new people, trying new food. That is like my absolutely favorite thing. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. So 100%. like traveling agree. the whole world, that's like my top dream. Where's to the number one place? Oh, my gosh. There's so many, dude. Nah, number uh, one. Japan, I think would be so cool. Ooh. Or Madagascar. Or, Madagascar? Yeah. Not like Gur? the... I Madagascar? Madagascar? I don't know how to say it. Madagascar? Madagascar. I don't know how you say it. How do you say it? <laughs> say it again. Madagascar. Is that how you say it? Bruh. <laughs> no? <laughs> oh my god. That's getting clipped right there. Oh bro. My That's god. getting clipped. Well, like, not like the movie, but like the same, like, you yeah, know. Yeah. Okay. Well, the movie's based off this place. Oh, yeah. Okay. Madagascar. Madagascar. Oh, it's like you say car? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. That's like one of the places I really want to go. I I like that. I feel like I feel like before you go there, you should figure out how to pronounce it. Though. Yeah, I think I should. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's fire. Dang, that's sick. So what are you, what are you passionate about right now? Like what are, what do you, what do you want to do in your life to get you to the point where you can be rich and travel the world? Oh man, we weren't expecting these right no, off the bat. <laughs> right, I'm like, oh, you're getting right to the nah, point. No, right to the point, man. Um, right to the chase. I want to get so to the juiciness. Many stuff. Like, I don't, you know, TikTok, I love doing TikTok, you yeah. know, um, but I don't think that's like something really passionate about. Okay. I love doing TikToks, you know. Like I, more as a, more as a hobby instead of a career based. Yeah, thing. exactly. I'm more into, let's see, I'm more into like films, like movies, oh, all sure. of that. Um, like like acting or being yeah, like yeah, camera, yeah. like acting, acting, like you know, okay. like that's something I, like that's like a dream of mine. Okay, sick. I you know I never you I never really post it on TikTok because mm. you know no one really takes you yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. On TikTok. Well, especially if you blew up for like being comedy. Exactly. Like you know, like it's not gonna do as well as the other videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like ever since I was little, when I was a little, I did a show for school when I okay. used to live back in Brazil. I did not know you lived in Brazil. Yeah, I used to do th- I used to do theater when I was little. I was in a mus- musical show too. Okay, cool. And so I've always been like doing theater when I was little. I tried doing it like when I got when I moved here. Yeah. Um, I was still in like elementary school, but then going to middle school, I started taking a theater class, but I kind of I didn't really like it because theater and like movies is like a little different. Yeah. You know, theater, you like, there's like, there's a lot more, yeah, a lot more drama too. More drama, exactly. More like, uh, emphasis, I guess. Yeah. You you have to be like more extra, where like filming, you just have to be like more natural. Yeah. And you have a lot more like takes, whereas like theaters. But I feel, I feel like if, um, for in in my perspective, I feel like theater would be, um, very beneficial for wanting to get into films because like theater, you have to be present 100% of the time. Like you don't get a retake, where like film, you mess up a line. Oh, hey, let's run that back, you know? It's true. So, I don't know. I don't know. But, so, continue. So, you said you were doing theater? Like so, yeah, theater? I was doing, like, theater when I was little. I've always been doing that. Nice. And then, got to middle school. I kind of just stopped doing it. Yeah. Wasn't, like, really liking it. But I kind of want to go back to that now. 
Cool. Um, since I just got back from summer sales, now I just kind of yeah. want to focus on that. Yeah. I want to start taking acting classes and just kind of build, start building my portfolio. Yeah, that'd be sick. And just like go from there. I like that. I like yeah. that. How was uh How was summer sales? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was, you know, it was great. Yeah? <laughs> what was the what was the goal? Listen, they told me like, you know, my buddy was like, yeah, like and get this, my buddy has been doing this for like a long time. Okay. So he's like really good. So, you know, he was like telling me like, "Oh yeah, like you, you know, come out, you're going to make 30 to 40k for the summer. You don't you're not going to have to work, you know, for the rest yeah. of the year." I'm like, "Okay, bet. Like, get me on." Yeah. In um, what state? Seattle. Okay. So yeah, I went there to sell pest control. Oh, see, I think that's that's the mistake. I feel like where the real money is is solar, because my brother did the same thing. He went to go sell pest control, and he left the first month because he didn't. He they they promised or not promised him, but they told him the same thing, and he he couldn't even like live off of what he was making. No, but that's the thing. Like I heard solar is better, but I think it's harder, because in Seattle there's a lot of bugs. Like you know, everywhere you go, yeah, ants, mosquitoes, like every bug. So it's actually like way that easier to sell there, just because you know it's always raining. Like you always yeah, see spiders, everything. But you just have to be really good. Yeah, if you're good at it, you make bank. Yeah, I get that. I I just think the where like pest control is a is a large scale you have to do, where with solar it's less deals. Um, but they're higher payment. Exactly. Like I had, I had a buddy, I think he sold a, I don't know what they're called, like 80 watts or something, an 80 watt unit. And he got like three or four grand just for like one deal. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, but yeah, pest control, you could probably sell a lot more because it's cheaper and more people need exactly. it. Exactly. Cause but you kind of make your own price Yeah. when you sell it and every sell you make, you make like around one to two K. Yeah. So like that's good. That's if good. you get like, you know, five to 10 sales a yeah. day, I mean, you make really good money, but I, I was only getting like one sale every week. <laughs> <laughs> what was your like initial, when you got back from summer sales, what were you, what was your like initial like thoughts where you just kind of like just got back and just see that's like when I got back, it felt kind of weird. Like I got back and I was like, holy, this, I got to get used to like living back in Utah now. Yeah. It's like, are you going to, are, are you, are you looking for a job right now or something or what? No, I'm, I'm currently, I have a job right now. Oh, okay. It was the same job before okay, I left cool. for summer sales. Yeah. Do you like it? Oh yeah. It's super chill. I just, okay, cool. uh, I work for like this um, lab and then I just do like hospitals and clinics. Oh, sick. Deliveries. Okay, cool. Sometimes I go to like old people to deliver. It's mm. so cute. Uh, Cause they're like, oh, I can't hear you. I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. But yeah, well, once I got back, um, it was just kind of weird, you know, being away from home for four months and then being back just kind of like, oh, feels a little weird, you know? Yeah. So I'm just been getting used to it, you know? But yeah, it's been Dang. chill now. Well, if you could if you could do any career then and be successful in it, what would you do? Ooh. Like any career. Any career. Oh my gosh. Because you got to think about like to get you to that point, financial freedom and travel. If you could do anything that would get you there, what would you do? Like, knew you wouldn't fail. Oh, no fail? Like, you know you wouldn't fail. Oh. Like, oh. God God shows up right here and goes, Raph, what do you want to do in your life? And then you go, and then, oh, and then you're trying to think of what you want. And he goes, you will not fail no matter what. What would you do? See, I, I think social media is still okay. Like you know YouTube, because you know YouTube like is long really form good. or just it's just long form content on YouTube. Well, yeah, like everyday Vlog content. Yeah, vlogs every day. You know, um, that or either you know like film, movies. Oh yeah, 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 movies. Yeah, yeah, definitely right. that. So when's the OnlyFans coming out? <laughs> oh my god, bro! I actually feel like you'd make bank though. That's the thing though, because especially I when would. you you because you post so much stuff about your butt. I know everyone comments on my, like, yeah. you know, starting OnlyFans, like, doing OnlyFans. I'm like, oh. Personally, I couldn't do it. I know. I couldn't either. I can't do it. I could not. Especially if I start wanting to, you know, doing bigger stuff. I just don't want, like, in the future, my son to be like, oh. Exactly. Let me look up, you know, my dad's nudes. Fat ass. <laughs> like, I, like, I know, like, people make a lot of money. Yeah. It's like, you know. Dude, have you seen how much a Corinna cop makes? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Dude. In like a million dollars a month. A month, insane. And there's that other girl. Um, what's her name? She's a, she started as a TikToker and she would do dances in front of her um, neighborhood and pretend like her neighbors were watching. 
dang, I can't remember her name. Um, shoot. She, oh, do you know Salim from the Nelk Boys? I think so. Yeah, She's yeah, like yeah. hooking up with Salim right now, bro. Oh. Yeah, and uh. like so, yeah. And she she started an OnlyFans and she yeah and she I think she's making like two hundred three hundred k a month. Oh. She bought she she's I think she's twenty years old. She just bought a Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Oh my gosh! No, crazy. you make crazy money, dude. Just crazy. For, see, like that's that's the thing that's always gonna be like you know a backup if I ever <laughs> a backup. You know if down, later down the road, <laughs> down the road, if I don't make on you know film yeah, or like yeah. social media, you know. I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm, you know, I'll, I'll start one. Sure. Fine. I feel like if I didn't know anybody, I'd probably start one. Exactly. Same. Like if I knew I could make <laughs> six figures a month just taking pictures on the weekends and just going traveling, that would be insane. Oh, same. <laughs> literally. But yeah, I don't think I could ever I do that. No. because And it just runs all, all, all other like outlets and stuff. And everyone's just going to be like, oh, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Well, and then especially this was, this was, this is kind of, this is kind of going into the tangent of only fans but like imagine i, I was thinking about because i was having a conversation you know brock yeah yeah so i was having a conversation with brock about it and he he was like we were talking and i was like bro if my girl if i like started dating a girl and she did only fans like i there you kind of lose that like exclusivity you know what i'm saying like there's not that intimacy exactly. of like no. i don't know no i feel that yeah it's like if I ever like started dating a girl it's like i only want you know, like only me to see like that. Yeah, you know? exactly. I don't want everyone to see what I what I'm dating. You know, that's I totally feel you. And totally I'm, feel you. I love like you know very keeping everything low key, keeping a secret. I think yeah, that just makes more fun. Yeah. Would you? Oh, this is this is an idea. Oh. Would you ever do an OnlyFans where you don't show your face though? Think about that. Oh, but then yeah, but then you're not gonna make any money because you can't promote it <laughs> yeah, on your social media. Exactly. Damn, bro. I thought about it. Got, I thought you about gotta find a way to capitalize <laughs> off that ass. <laughs> you gotta find a way. No, I thought about making one, just like you know, posting shirtless pic. But then I figured people wouldn't be as satisfied, and then I was yeah. sort of losing subscribers. Yeah. So it wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't be worth anything. it. Yeah, <laughs> bro. You started like an underwear company or something, bro. That's a great idea. What, what would be the, what would be the model? I mean, like no, no. What would be the like sale point? What would make your underwear different from other people's underwear? Ooh. Definitely like a like a picture of my face, like in the underwear. Oh, you know? Like on the ass or on the crotch? On the crotch. I like that. I think I'd wear and that. And then on you know on the back, you could say like <laughs> Raffy Taffy. Raffy. <laughs> Raffy t- I you need these, bro. I don't. I don't do. I have to come up with something. Yeah. Well, if you had to sell any product, what would you sell? Oh, cologne. Cologne. I will. I feel like that was a quick answer, right? I will love because I'm like, I love like I. I'm a very like I love like Smells. smelling good, twenty yeah. percent. That's like you know everywhere I go, even if it's like to the gym or huh. like you know anywhere I have to like put cologne. Dang, that's interesting. So I would love to make like my own cologne, like my own smell, mm. and that would be kind of like my product. That would be sweet, right? I love that. What got you originally started into social media? Like what was the what was the because you because I started pretty early too in TikTok when it was like cringe and you did yes. too <laughs> you were on that because because yeah you like you said you had two hundred k followers before um that one video and that one video popped off still when TikTok was starting to get a little acceptable yeah. but before that like what like did did you get like kind of shit for it in high school or not really uh in the beginning yeah okay so I started I created an account when it, TikTok used to called Musically yeah remember yeah, that yeah. yeah. Did you, oh, did you, you had followers on Musical.ly? No. So that's the thing. I just created oh. an account and like I posted a video and I didn't really have any followers. Oh, okay. So I kind of, I never like, you know, went from there. I just posted one video and that's yeah. it. And then after Musical.ly turned into TikTok, my buddy, my really close buddy was like, hey, like hop on this, like, you know, start making videos. Because he had an account and he had like 20K and I was like, holy cow, like, wow. That's sick, yeah. You know, because you would post videos every day. So I started doing that. And, and this was about back 2019? 2018? 18, 18, 19, 18, 19, yeah. 18, yeah. yeah 18. So I was still in like, I was just getting in high school. Yeah, sophomore like freshman year. Freshman year, yeah. Yep. Freshman, freshman sophomore year, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. And yeah, like I started posting and just, you know, of course people were like laughing in the beginning. Yeah. They're like, oh, you're like, you're so weird. 
what oh, what was uh did you did you kind of grow slowly or did you have like a quick jump for to like zero to 20k because for me i like i i remember i posted like my first three videos and within like a week i had 20k and so then everyone at my school like yeah it just like got out everywhere and then and the, the three videos that blew up were just terrible <laughs> terrible videos <laughs> and so i was just getting shit for like the next month and then i just kept posting content but um like for you, what, how was that? No, it definitely started slow. You know, okay. in the beginning, it was like I was getting no no views, no likes, you know. Yeah. I was just kind of doing like my own thing. I wasn't really doing any trends. Yeah. And then, you know, I started like seeing what's really was popping off. So I yeah. started kind of copying the ideas. Okay. Started hopping on the trends. And then I was like, okay, it's not really doing as well. And then I just kind of started doing my own ideas. And that's when the Kylie Jenner, you know, oh. lit video came. That's what kind of came and got you from like how many followers were you at when that video posted? Oh, like a, I was like 10k. And what did it that take video. you to? It took me to 100k, I think. Yeah. What? Yeah. What was that feeling like? It, it just felt so weird. Like I was like not expecting that video to blow up. Yeah. And when it was, like I would like refresh and I was like, holy cow! He's like, is this even real? Mm. It was just feel like. No, nah, yeah. I, I know, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's crazy. Yeah, bro, content's, content's such an interesting, like, thing that you can post so, like, think about the, your first 10,000 followers was probably weeks, if not months of posting. Yeah. And then all that, all that work, all that time of filming that you did in a whole two, three, four month span, one video takes off and 10x is what you did originally. Exactly. It's insane. Because I, I remember I had 250,000 followers and I posted a, I don't know if, I don't know if anyone watching knows this. But I posted a travel video and in literally 48 hours went from 250K to 500K just off. And it, the video did like only 5 million views. So the conversion rate was crazy. But, um, dude, I just remember being like, what? Like the entire time I've been on TikTok for the past year, all the videos I posted in one video did the same amount. I was, it was like, it blew my mind. Like, I, I don't know. It's crazy. Like, I like sometimes I'm like, it blows my mind how, you know, some how crazy a video can do yeah like hours yeah. or in a day what are, what are your thoughts on because i've been like kind of not studying i would say but i've been thinking about this a lot recently would you say quality over quantity on tiktok or quantity over quality Ooh, i think quality in it you know it's really good you know um but quantity i think you think quantity yeah Okay. Sure. Interesting. I think the more you make it like kind of like your personality and the more okay, you yeah, do, true. I think it does more well in yeah. TikTok. Because you can, you know, you can do a, a TikTok like Charlie's or like, you know, the, like those yeah. big guys. And they, w they won't gain any traction. Yeah, because you like, kind of have to like. You have to, that's where I think you in the in the beginning phase of social media or like starting on social media, you need to post like three a day like quantity yeah. and then once you get up to like 10 20 50 100 thousand followers i think that's where it's like dial down and create one really good video a day exactly. because i for the past six months was losing followers on tiktok and i was posting at least three times a week which isn't like you know a ton on tiktok but like it's consistent like yeah it's consistent and and then a month ago when i decided to just dive deep into content still posting three a week but going on quality and like making it my full time like okay content's what i'm focusing on so like i'll plan out the whole script of the video it's i don't know if you, have you seen the, the mona lisa all those types of videos so and those ones have i mean at six thousand followers i've gained in the last week on instagram twenty thousand followers in the past two weeks on tiktok and like that was just from doing quality and so i don't know like yeah, I changed my, my mind quality. No, quality no, no. Sure. That, that's just me though, because like Gary V, Gary V, but he's all he's a, he's a rare subject because he has a whole media team behind him, and he's saying you know post three TikToks um, a day, but he has a whole media team behind him cl clipping all of his clips from interviews, podcasts, everything, and posting them out. And so it's like not not everyone that you know, unless you're you know 16, 17, you're in high school or like summertime. Sure, you can do three, but most people can't film and post three videos a day. That's yeah, ridiculous. It takes it takes really time. Like that is such commitment. So that's why I'm like, 
I'm like, I'd rather, I'd rather, oh, of course I'm getting a call, bro. <laughs> I forgot to silence my phone. Answer, answer, answer. Should I get my mom on the pod? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mom, say what's up to the podcast. Oh my gosh, are you on the podcast right now? <laughs> yeah, how are you doing? Golf cart ride. <laughs> uh, no, I'm doing a podcast with my buddy Raph. Oh, it's on the low. I thought I saw your stuff still here, so I thought he's gotta still be here, but where? Yeah. Oh wait. Left my, the car. I think I left my no, yeah, I gotta ride back. I think I left my wallet there. But um yeah, I gotta go. But could you say uh subscribe to Behind the Dream? Subscribe to Behind the Dream. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mom. I love you. Do it in a different way? No, that's great. Yeah, All right, bye. That was great. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah. Also, I need to take a t- second to say this video is not sponsored by Liquid <laughs> Death. I keep sipping it like so awkwardly because like you'll you'll say something and I'm like, you <laughs> I'm, like sipping it while I'm looking at you. And then I'm sipping on the Yerba Mate, oh, too. Those are so good. So good. No, they're not. Oh. They're not good. Sponsor yeah, no, yeah. me. Guayaki. Dude, I actually want to get a, I want to. Oh, my gosh. Liquid Death and Guayaki. I need what to get does that one taste like? This? Yeah. It's it's just water. Oh, it's water. You didn't know that? No, I thought I was like, I know he thought it was beer. <laughs> you thought I was just sipping on a I beer? Mean, look at the game. Oh, how have you never seen a liquid death before? No. Bro, you wild it. Oh, it's sparkling, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I love sparkling oh, water. Oh, bro, sparkling water is the best. Oh. I know. People think I'm weird because I drink sparkling water all the time. Like, you're weird. Dude, it's it's a bad addiction. Oh, it's so good. Like, I can, I probably drink 60% sparkling water right no, now. Say, I think it's like the tingling that gets me in my throat. Dude, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> 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 no, but have you ever had, do you ever, have you ever had a um, sparkling water at the gym? No. Dude, it is s- 10 times more hydrating. I swear. Really? I don't know what it is. And I also sometimes get stomach aches at the gym. I don't know why. But, dude, when I, I, I always take like a 64 ounce, I just fill it up at like Maverick. I just fill up the soda water. Wait, I'm actually going to start doing that. And ice, bro, Ooh. I'm telling you, it feels so much better. I don't know. That's just me. It might be placebo, no, but. I'm definitely giving that a try. From, you'll have to let me know how, how, how it is. But, dude, I'm <laughs> telling you, something about hitting a rep on a workout and then just taking a nice sip of like, and it's just bubbly. Mm. Dang, I should start a sparkling water company. Yeah, you should. <laughs> yeah, so then I don't have to keep sipping liquid death on the pod. <laughs> That and that's I think my two favorite drinks is sparkling water and coconut water. Oh, um, bro, those are the that I was just drinking. Look right there. Oh, toss that over here, dude. Best coconut water ever. Oh, imagine that I was, was open. Oh, <sighs> I know I saw you tighten it, but if that was open, bro, the coconut water just goes everywhere. This shit's gas. So good, Vita Coco. Dude. Dang, I'm just sponsored. I'm just like oh, hella <laughs> promoting like drink companies right now. I am not kidding. This I have a gas. trash can in my room. Really? And it's filled with those guys. I probably have like 20. Really? Those. The same company? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Coconut water is oh great. My 10 gosh. out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah, so if you see us, like, hit us up. For real, bro. We need that sponsorship. <laughs> nah. Okay, that's a good question. If you could work with any brand, what brand would you work with? Ooh. Oh, my God. $10,000 deal. Ah. Uh, oh, wait. Actually, before you ask that question, I'm curious. I don't, I don't know how much spon- I don't know how many like sponsorships you know because I don't do a lot of sponsorships yeah. either. What's the most you've been paid for a sponsorship? No, it's not. Have a you lot. done any? And yeah, like, I have. So no, and like in like in the past little bit or not, not really in the past little bit because I haven't been really active. Mo- active, yeah. Yeah. But I so I uh, I do I'm, I have a partnership with the game yeah. company. Well, what do you mean me? Oh shit! No, oh, that's okay. What? I'm not trying to give any free sponsorships out. <laughs> Nah, I'm kidding. You can say them. What do you mean? Yeah, so I... I yeah, so, they've been marketing a lot. Yeah, I actually... So they pay me. Um, Consistently? No, so they oh. so they do kind of like this... Um, so they send out an email. Mm-hmm. They're like, hey, like... We have this new game. We have this new game. We'll send it to you. And then whoever makes the most... Like, everyone has to make a, 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 a TikTok. Oh. And they kind of like choose oh you get like bonuses yeah so they choose that's actually a genius marketing mm-hmm. model holy cow so they choose uh their favorite video out of you know the whole creators that do it with them but and you, but everyone gets paid or no no so you only get paid if you get if your video gets picked and but it, you don't have to post it unless it gets picked or you have to post it you do have to post if you want to oh make that's money. not i don't feel like that's a good business model at all though yeah i mean i kind of my video has been picked a few times so but you have to post it before it even gets picked. Yeah. 
So you're what? So they they'll send you uh, the game. You know, they'll send it to you. Yeah. And you make a TikTok. You know. And you don't. Did you send it to them for review? Yeah. No? You so you send it to them. Um, they also will check the, on your yeah. account, and then they kind of do. They just pick it out, and if your video gets picked out, if they like it, then you get paid. And if wow. not, then you don't. That's interesting. But you can still make money if you do Affiliates. make a video. It kind of it's based on the views. Interesting. There's like a kind of like a not a list. I feel like if I if I were if I were what do you mean? This is this is the model I would do. I would do. 100 creators, or like 50 creators, 10 creators, however much the budget's worth. Each creator gets X amount. Let's just use easy numbers. Like, let's just say $100 for, per influencer. It definitely have to be more than that. But 100 per influencer. And then whatever one performs the best, top five. So, like, the first one that performs the best in, like, say, a week span gets a $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 bonus. The second one gets, like, a $4,000. Third one gets a $3,000 bonus. Second one gets a $2,000 bonus. And then the first or fifth one gets a... That's just what I would do because I feel like, like it, I I don't feel like I would I would post a video about a brand if if I don't have a locked in payment. Right. I don't know. That's just that's no. Interesting, that's that would be nice. But they do like pay kind of based on like if on the views. So I think that's if you cool. get like a hundred, like let's say a million views, you get paid. I don't even know how much is it. There's like kind of like a a list that this says like if you get oh, this okay. many views, we'll pay you this much. How much do you think like on average? A deal with uh, what do you mean like if you get picked what is an average oh it's a, a thousand oh, okay that's yeah good. they that's pay you a decent. thousand so yeah it's pretty good dang that's tight okay wait what were, uh, what were we oh yeah favorite Which brand, brand? Uh, favorite brand or like that, like your dream brand dream to work brand. with oh my gosh that's such a hard question man um let me think about that too oh my gosh i feel like i don't know like nike would be pretty cool oh nike would be sick or like, cause you know, you get free clothes. Yeah, that'd shoes, be sick. You know, that'd be really cool. Or I don't, I don't know if Nike does a lot of sponsorships. I don't think they but do. either way, either way, yeah, Nike would be tight. Um. Oh my gosh, I can't even. I can't even think of one. But yeah. Really, I feel like I could think of tons, bro. Like I would love my dream would be like to walk for Balenciaga and like oh get my, free Balenciaga yeah, clothes. That were like. <laughs> that'd be wicked. Oh my gosh! Yeah. But, dude, especially drink companies, I'm not even kidding you. I want to work with drink companies so bad. Right Recently, I've just been like, I just love testing out drinks. Like the Celsius, I just like order yeah. variety packs. I'm not going to, I've named like probably <laughs> five, bro. I'm just <laughs> like, throwing out sponsorships no, really. right now. But, like, I don't know. I feel like drink companies, because it's so easy to work with them. Because it's and like, you can, you, just, like, you can literally just put it in the yeah. background of the bro, TikTok. Bro, bang. Oh my bang, gosh. You see it all the time. They've yeah. done so much advertising. Yes, dude. But it's, it's got to the point where it's just annoying. It is. Like, I just see the videos and, like, they... And they're just, like, sipping. And it's always, right. it's always the hype house. Yeah. <laughs> it's always the hype house people. <laughs> and they're always just, like, it's just all over everywhere. And, like, they're trying to tie in some sort of comedy. Mm. And I'm just, yeah. like, I'm just, like, staring at the bang energy. And I'm, like, I don't even... Like, this is just... No. Just stop. <laughs> it's just not just working stop. out anymore. <laughs> like, like, I know that's your only deal right now. Stop playing. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. No, but I think like Balenciaga, like clothing, like would be really yeah. cool. Yeah. Like, would you ever walk? Oh, uh, I mean, if I was like taller, you know, I, I can't really I, walk. I, when I, I'm did, five, I, I just, I just, I, <laughs> as I asked that question, I was like, oh, shit. Oh, of course I would walk, but like, I'm too short, man. Yeah. I can't. I'll give you, I'll give you three inches. Thank you. I got I you. I appreciate bro. it, dude. I'll make a huge difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> question for me. Question, okay. Hit it. If you, if you had to pick any. Anyone to like work with with your Ooh. ring company? Ooh. Who would it be? Oh, dude, I've always envisioned. I don't know why this is. I think because he was one of the first people that ever hit me up. I've always envisioned working with Noah Beck on like an actual ring collection, like where really like cool. we sit down together, design a collection, two or three rings, launch them. He promotes it. I promote it. He wears it in like some photos because. Dude, he's been diving deep into fashion. Oh, dude, I love it. I literally love his content so much. Like his style, dude, it's like dripping. one of my favorites. Yeah, no, for real. Literally. Like if I, I like sometimes I'll go to Pinterest to look at Alpha Inspo, but like a lot of the other times, I'll just go on his Instagram page, scroll through, I'll be like, ah, oh, that looks fire. No, like, literally, that's his literally stylist what I do. is yeah. crazy. Sometimes, like when I go to Zara or like Zara's some places, dope. I literally pull up his Insta. I'm like, hey, yeah, what yeah, shirt yeah. he's at? And I kind of like try to look around. Yeah. 
Like I love yeah. it. Dude. So I would love I would love to work I would love to work with him. That'd be so sick. But like uh video collaboration. Um like if it was just a video and just like a, a ring promo, not like an actual ring design. Uh, there's so many people I'd love to work with, but uh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I oh bro, have you ever met Mark Markel Washington? Yeah. Dude, he, that's the nicest guy I've ever met in my entire life. Really? Not even kidding. That uh, guy is so cool. I met him at VidCon. Well, I've like, I know, known him like over on, on my social media, but like he is the nicest person ever. He got up on stage with, um, oh, who was that? Flo Millie. Mm-hmm. And then he did it at Doja Cat too. Oh, he I got love up his on energy. stage <laughs> at, with Flo Millie and he was just twerking. And like, yes, bro. His bro, you guys, with, you guys together, <laughs> a twerk off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That should go crazy. I've talked to him uh, over like the media. He's just so nice, but I haven't met him in person. But hopefully in the future I will. Bro, he, I guarantee you he followed you because of your ass. <laughs> guarantee it. That's not. He's like, even. damn, like I gotta shake my ass with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> big time, big time. One more question for you. Yeah. If what's like out of all the rings you've made, which one is your favorite? Oh damn, you're pumping out the good questions. <laughs> favorite one, dude. That's not even. That's not even a hard question at all. Angel, this one right here. This was the bro, one. Bro, that's my favorite too. Really? Yes, dude. I literally. Bro, check that out. Uh, no, pop, this is pop my up a picture favorite, the, bro. Picture, la, 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 pop up a picture of the angel ring right here. Yeah, I, my that's favorite my favorite one. one because. Oh my gosh. It says protection and angel lettering I around it. it. And yeah, I left a. Are you are you Mormon? Yeah. You are Mormon? Yeah. I did not know you were. You're from Brazil though. Yeah, I mean. Are you a yeah. convert? No. I was born into church. Oh, my parents were. Oh, okay. So my parents um, got baptized when they were teenagers. Interesting. In Brazil. And then, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Well, I love the Mormon church. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's uh, all right. That's but all right. that's, like, I don't know. That, like, this, this ring to me is like, it's like my, I don't know. It's just like protection of like, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just like a reflection of just the universe. Like, even though it's an angel and like, you know, that resembles Christianity, but like, yeah. And I, I still like, you know, I still believe in God and shit stuff, but. I just yeah I don't know I just love oh, the angel yeah. ring it just feels I love angels it like, feels like yeah it feels grounding like it makes me feel like small it makes me like remind myself not to ever get egotistical and like just be like a good human no matter what no I love it anything angel I like I love wearing it like necklace like yeah. shirt I love it yeah. same with like cross do you have I don't tats? mind do you have tats no but I did like I do have like this kind of like stick and poke oh yeah damn. don't don't <laughs> tell my parents <laughs> two thousand one wait it's you were two thousand one yeah, that's my birth year. I don't know. Well, I swear year. we we would have wait. Sorry, you're twenty one. I'm twenty. I'm turning twenty one. The end of the year. What's your birthday? December sixteenth. Oh, that's lit. That's lit. Dang. No tattoos, but only. You know, what if you were to get a tat? What would you get? Ooh. Oh, there's so many. I oh, bro, like. I gotta show you. I have like so so many on Pinterest. That yes, I, would do, like, I on my thighs, like on my neck. I would do so many. Oh, but same. my mom wouldn't be too happy about that. I I just want to get a little more ripped, and then hopefully one day I don't fit in this freaking. Dude, hop on steroids. Hell no, nah. <laughs> not doing that. But no, don't. That's actually like. Are you? Is that no. why your butts? Oh, no, that's dude. Butts that big. my butt is dude, genetics. This whole podcast is just about your butt. <laughs> like dead ass. <laughs> No, uh, I get it. Dad that's that I get it from my dad. Really? Yeah, that's the good genetics. Damn. Look at Kate. Imagine this tattoo, Richie. I'm gonna send you this picture so you can pop it up on the screen. But check out this tattoo and imagine this on my right shoulder, and I'm like double the size I am right now. Let's see. Dude. Oh and yeah. And that's so that's Da Vinci. Oh, that is so and sick. Yeah, I I love Da Vinci. That's why I'm launching the Mona Lisa. See, I love like, tattoos that are kind of like artsy. Artsy like, and yeah, like this like, one. This one to me is like. It's the same thing, like spiritual. It's so it, that that uh, drawing that Da Vinci did. It's man's like connection to universe, and so this basically with his arms up creates a circle, and then arms down, feet like around the body creates mm-hmm. a square, and then it's like he goes in the whole metaphysics of like everything. But to me, that it goes back to the whole reason I love the angel ring, and I just love that. And then with the planets like rotating around, and it's like unfinished, so it like sketches out a little. I love that. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love anything that's like artsy and makes me just like feel. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not trying to get yeah. deep, but like, <laughs> I don't know. No, I like that. Yeah. Really. Any tattoo that has any meanings, I think that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know about creatine. I don't know if that's the move. I have creatine though. And 
maybe I'll start taking what is what is the benefit of creatine? It's just it helps you perform, makes you like stronger. But like why? Which does? I don't know. I just, it, I just take it because everyone takes it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I knew that was the answer <laughs> you know How, have you taken it consistently before yeah and you saw it perform really well so yeah no i actually like notice this is, this is now a workout podcast for everyone wondering yeah don't <laughs> ask yeah don't ask me for any like butt work sound because it's all genetics anyways really like do you never work out your butt no i do of course oh, but okay. it's like genetics yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a huge like you know it's always genetics yeah but, but if you do want to grow a butt you kind of have to like you know bulk kind of put yeah, fat on your butt and it's kind of turning into muscle. I get that. I get that. What's what's nice though, like the only benefit, well not the only benefit. I'm not going to shit on your height. <laughs> I think you're cute as hell. <laughs> but, Thank you. But yeah, I got you. But like bro, being being shorter, you're able to to build out so fast. That's what I heard. I heard like shorter people can actually it's better. Like bro, you can get ripped. I mean, you dude, you yeah, you're jacked. Not not Jim. Nah, bro. Might just have to throw up a little OnlyFans <laughs> pick right here. Just right here. No, but I've been kind of liking, but um, I'm going to start going back um, this week, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. This coming week. I'm just going to go back on quarantine and just take him from there. Would you ever Would you ever want to become a workout influencer? Do you know Um, Do you know uh, Joy, Kill Joy? Yeah. Do you know her? Uh-huh. So I've been friends with her for a long time, and oh, cool. she used to just post, like, just random, like, kind of, like, quarantine TikToks and, like, that era and uh, then she just kind of stopped with the content. Like, she was at 800,000 followers. Mm-hmm. Bro, she's been going heavy at just workout content. And she's now at, like, 1.8. See, I thought about it. Like, I think it would I be so like, cool. Dude, I feel like you could be I feel like you could be a big workout influencer. I would love to, like, you know, work, work with brands, like, you know, yeah. do all that videos. But let me get big first, and then I'll yeah. start getting into that. Ah, you don't even know if you need to get big, bro. Because if you mix in comedy with... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like you could just hop right I in. I like that. But I feel it's the same totally way because I've, bro, my dream, I remember when I was 15, I was taking, I was taking marketing courses because I was like, okay, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to drop out of high school, which I ended up doing. But I was like, when I was 15, I was like, I'm going to drop out of high school and I'm going to launch a, a fitness uh, course because there was this guy. Oh, what's his name? Oh, you definitely know him. Oh my gosh. Okay. If it comes to me, I'll let you know. But right. He's a Canadian. Um, Canadian. Do you know what I'm talking about? He's shredded, bro. He's my favorite build of anyone. But he, um, ah, it's gonna bother me. But anywho, he, I got, I bought one of his courses. It was like eighty dollars, and it was like the superhero program, whatever. And bro, that like at fifteen to like sixteen, I did it for like a year, and my physique changed so much. And that was when I was like crazy into fitness. I'd wake up, I'd go before high school, I'd just go to like five a.m work out like consistently and then so then i was taking courses on marketing i was like i'm gonna be like the biggest like uh fitness influencer in the world like all this <laughs> stuff like, i was so hyped and like every once in a while like whenever i'm hitting the gym i, I kind of go i kind of revert back to that i'm like man that'd be so sick to just like have a whole like cult following that just loves like you do anything and they just yeah. They read that as a Bible. Like, that's literally how, bro, like that one guy, the rock, rock or um, from, uh, he always do videos with Nelk. Nelk. He's Roggier. He owns that zoo culture. Bradley oh, Martin. Know. Bradley Martin. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, he, he does anything. He's got a whole, like, cult behind him that just, like, drop any piece of clothing, buy. You, yep. you drop a course, buy. Launch a gym, subscribe. Like, oh, yeah. that, I don't know. I think that, yeah, bro. I don't know. No, I think that's that and like he's a s- really a smart guy, and he's also very smart. It, you know, his size also helps a ton. Yeah. Do you know about the gym? Uh, oh, dude, that dude, oh huge. He's definitely on crazy roids, bro. Oh, dude, like his size actually, like you know, helps a ton because everyone like looks up to him. Like, I'm yeah. gonna be his size. Do you think that's unhealthy in the in the workout space? Like, if you're not if you're not vocal, like he's kind of vocal about it. If you're not vocal that you do roids, and and like, do you think that's because uh, then it's unhealthy standards for like young kids? I mean, yeah, I f- I feel like or it's a little unhealthy. unhealthy, yeah, especially for like younger people. Because that's people. That does most of those guys, I mean, and girls, bro. Because girls with yeah, if you don't, if you're not vocal about boob jobs and butt jobs and stuff like that, or like, I don't know if you're doing a roids. I don't know if girls do roids, but like, if you have like a huge butt as a girl and that's implanted and you're not vocal about that, I feel like that's just so sad to like 
your younger audience that's like working out trying to get to that yeah i don't know that's just my take on it but there's a guy that owns alpha land um the guy that does that guess how much they do a month in revenue just one gym in texas it's like the biggest gym in texas it's called alpha land i've heard about that you've heard about that yeah Yeah. i don't know how much much, dude (sighs) just take a guess like a month this is one gym this is just one gym oh my gosh well, how much do they charge for like? <laughs> I think it's like twenty dollars for a day pass. Oh, okay, not bad. Look, uh, if I were to guess, it's like a whole warehouse. Yeah, bro. that's nice. In a month, I would say like, mm, I don't you know, thirty, forty k, fifty k. Bro, that's just the overhead. <laughs> more? Way more. Oh, oh yeah, duh. Um, hundred k. Bro, they average eight hundred to a million dollars a month. Yeah, a gym. Jesus. Uh, Just one gym. Like, sure, their their overheads hella expensive because they got a whole staff and they have. I mean, it's a huge. They have a ton of square feet and they got to pay for all that overhead. But, bro, yeah, it's ridiculous. (laughs) And, dude, it's all because of influencer marketing. That's the new wave of everything. It is, dude. Because they get all the all the big influence. They'll fly out influencers just to come work out there and film. Because and with the Alpha Land in the background, and that's why it's been taking off like a ton. Because then all the other fitness influencers and people that are into fitness, they want to go out of Texas just to try out this gym because it's like that exclusivity. You know, Alpha Land's not everywhere. But for yeah. I watched a podcast with the guy that started Alpha Land, and he wants to like distribute it and get like one in each state. Which I was like, that would be fire. That same with uh, Gold's gym. Gold. Well, that is everywhere. Yeah, what do you mean? Right? No, I thought it was only in California. No. Bro, there's a Gold's Gym, like, right up the street. Are you serious? Yes. Damn, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I thought it was just, like, this main, like, famous gym. There is that huge one in Cali, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a there's a famous one in Cali. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Dang, man. Oh, you want to grab the rings? Oh. So, as a little as a little present and a remembrance. Shut up. Yeah. So, Dude, no. So, but, but here's the thing. Here's the catch. You have to reinstate your dream. So you have to say your dream out loud and this ring that you pick out, it, it could be any, like you could, you could, your dream could be to be an OnlyFans star and then you could pick out, <laughs> you could pick out the symphony ring and then that's, you know, that's, it's whatever it means to you. It doesn't have to be resembling on Guys, I that. feel so honored right now. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh. He's plugging the rings. It's like Christmas came early. <laughs> and if you, it, dude, I can get you that angel one in your size. Yeah, definitely uh, want the angel. You know, I was gonna put the angel. Oh my respectfully. gosh! Okay, my dream. <laughs> he starts like <laughs> praying with it. He just uh, like puts it on. My dream. See, is my to dream. Be a oh man, that's so. Um, my dream. That looks kind of cute. Look at that. I'll put that as the clickbait. Is to do what I love. Help. The world change in any way, and just get back, give back to my parents. I like That's that, but dream. I feel like I feel like you could go more, more specific, more specific. Think, mm. think about this. Think about this. Five years. Where do you want to see yourself? Explain that to me. Oh, five years. I want to see myself in the film industry, making, being you know, in really cool movies, and just you know, traveling the world, traveling the world. You know, meeting meeting new people you know doing all these things yeah like, yeah that's definitely now put that ring on kiss it yeah okay <laughs> i'm keeping you to that i'm texting you every year Dude. i'm texting you on your birthday i'm gonna oh say hey gosh. what are you doing to get to that goal <sighs> i'm gonna keep you in check Dang. you gotta keep me in check too though oh i will okay for sure respectfully respectfully my boy thanks for coming on the pod oh thank you so much for having me i had like this is so fun dude it's a great time i, I love, love these it. well yeah. if you made it this far Leave a comment. Make sure you're subscribed. Drop a new podcast episode every Tuesday. You already know what drop it is. Drop my like if you want me to drop my OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just end right there. End right there. All right. I'll peace. See you guys. Yeah.